finally doing my home tour I've been wanting to do this since I don't know it's been two years since I've been here so I live in a studio apartment in New York and just me and my mom and I've been slowly getting it together I had a few things in storage and I purchased some things so I just wanted to give you um, a tour of my apartment and it's a studio but it's the size of a one bedroom so let's get into it Okay, so this is the door. I put these little command strip hooks throughout the place. I think it's good to just, I want to put my pocketbook here when I come in and I could usually easily take it with me when I go. I got this shoe cabinet. Um, hmm, I think I got it from Wayfair. It's three rows and it holds at least two, four, maybe like six, four to six pairs of shoes depending on the size. These are booties that I give to people when they come in to get them dirty up my floor. And then you see another set. Then I have this vase. I haven't put anything in it yet, but it's from the Z Gallery. Then I have this little stain here. I got it from Amazon. I get to hang my keys, all of my masks, a cute little space for a hanger, and some mail. Okay, then we're gonna go this way. And here is my washer and dryer. Cool for studio. And then I have the command strips up here to hang my um, room and my mop. My And then I have artwork piece I made. It's acrylic. Um, it's on acrylic. So it has a, a look of glass and it kind of hangs off of the wall. So yeah, I made this piece and a few other pieces in my apartment as well. Now we're going into the kitchen. Give you a wide view. I was cooking. I made some oxtails and rice. So this is the pan of the kitchen. Close up. I have a little hand mixer. When I'm making stuff, I make like breads and stuff from scratch, pizza dough and stuff. So I use this hand mixer. I have an electric, um, what is it called? Can opener. <laughs> yeah. I have my prima donna oven. And then these lights are Philips light. And I can change the color to whatever color I want. I have them throughout my apartment as well. Then it's my Vitamix blender. I'm not gonna get into these cabinets because they're not organized. My dishwasher. <laughs> my plant. I am a plant mom. I'm growing kale. And I only have three plants in here. Started off with two, and then I have my arugula here. So I might have to start a new set, and I might fill it up with all six pods. Then I have my carrot. like to make teas. I got this table. I believe I got it from Wayfair. And then down here, it's a mess, but it's good. It has a bunch of shelves. I have my poles down here. I have, this is a juicer, lemon juicer. And then I have a pasta maker down there. And all of the tools that go with my oven, my prima donna oven. And yeah, that's it. This table is really good. I like it. It's like an island I wanted to have because this is an open area and I always wanted an island. This chair, 
I got it from Coleman, but they have it on other sites, I believe. It's just a cute chair. The brand is TOV, Toe Furniture, but Coleman had it cheaper than everyone else. And here's my garbage. I just want to show you how it is motion. So, yeah, I'm not going to show you what's in it, but yeah, I like that feel. Okay, so we're going to my living room. Came around. My mom got me that blanket for Christmas. It's a faux fur throw blanket and it's super cozy. This mirror, we had it for a while and it used to be brown. This is the mirror that everybody has from Ikea. It used to be all brown. I painted it to match the decor of my place. And then this piece of art here, I made this as well. Oops, let me turn this way. Yeah, I made this as well. And it matches perfectly with my mirror and my pillows. These pillows I got from, I think Wayfair as well. This sectional couch was my mom's in our old apartment. It's super comfy and big. Couches don't come this size anymore. Then this island, I mean an island, ottoman. It opens, so I use it as storage. I put sheets in here, cause you know, storage is very important when you are in the studio, okay? Now, this over here is my stand. I painted this and I put the marble on here. I forgot where I got it from. It might have been from Wayfair as well, but it was all black. And then I have this light, which it does the same thing. It changes colors, but this one is um, rechargeable. So I can unplug it and I can put it wherever I want to put it. And then this is all of my candles from Bath and Body. And my little sign, dream. This is supposed to be my liquor shelf, but this is all of my zero carb flavored beverage section. <laughs> so I use this to flavor up my salsa water and teas. And it's, this is when I was doing keto, which I'm still doing low carb, but yeah. And then I have my printer. And down here is a file cabinet and a nice little drawer. Now this is my little gym section. I don't really like the gym. I try to exercise as often as possible, but I have a little rolly, I forgot what that's called. But this is to massage my muscles and then my bands and then my mat. All right, here is the TV. Yeah, and this is the stand. Um, in that corner over there is a shredder. And this TV stand came from Wayfair. Um, and this is a little cabinet. I have like photos and, you know, photo albums in there. I have one closet. Well, I have two closets. But this closet I kind of use as a coat closet and storage. So I'm not going to open that. But here's my bed. This is a little bit messy. It looks neat <laughs> from over um, when I'm close up. But anyway, this is my bed. I like high beds. I don't like low beds at all. And as you can see, I have the lights around my bed as well. So those change color as well. Good old fashioned Biggie Tupac. All the greats that have passed on. Okay, so now I'm going behind my bed, and then you see I have another closet, which is my clothes, things that need to be hang up, and shoes, my neon sign. So cute. So that stays one color, but this is me behind my bed. I do my hair back here, see my little wig, and my cute chair, which was a Christmas gift from my mother. And I forget where she got that from, but I got the rug from Amazon. And this opens up. It's my drawers, and it also has a 
I can hang clothes up in there, but it's super messy. So I'm definitely not opening that. I keep a little space here so I can sliver through. And here's my bathroom. So I made this picture as well. I thought it was cute because this is exactly what I do. I'm on the um, in the bathroom on the toilet with my iPad or my phone, and I'm here for a long time. So I just thought it was cute because it's the best seat in the house. Okay, I got quite a few things in here for storage because the bathroom is, usually gets cluttered. So I have this little stand here. This is for tissue, but I keep like accessories in there. I got hair products and toothpicks in here. I got to be. And then over here, I have another storage situation. Those are two drawers. These come really good and handy. Um, it's a little, well, I don't know if it's messy. It's just a lot of stuff there, but yeah. This rug is so cozy and comfy. I love it. I got that from probably Amazon. And I tried to match it with my curtains. I need to get full of that. I like these little, these are magnetic. See? Magnetic. I think they're so cute. The um the band, I mean the curtain is very thin. So it doesn't really hold. Okay, here's the sink. This is for my feet, obviously. I soak my feet every now and again. And my Yoni steam potty is in front of it. And then I have another system for storing stuff. And yes, I got a lot of stuff in this bathroom. Okay, y'all? So do not judge me. Okay? And I believe we are done. Okay, y'all. So that is it. That went by pretty fast because the space is not so big, but it's perfect size for me. Perfect for one per, perfect for an, one person, and it's not too tight. It's just right. So, thank you for going on this tour with me, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Oh, and if you want any of the pieces of art, I'll put the link in the description below. Bye.